You're not gonna believe the news. She told me that she wished she got more coverage. She could have gotten more coverage. She just didn't know she wanted to put two feet into the water. You're not going to believe this. What? Insurance? What they're saying about this man? Because it's sexy. You didn't know? I couldn't believe the things they were saying about it. It was due for my clients now. I wanted to get a peace of mind. Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Give me some room. Give me some room. Give me the juice. How about the coupe? How about the coupe? How about the shoot? Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. What's going on, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zappala here, hailing to you from the Money Smart Movement Team headquarters of PHP Agency here, based in Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, a direct west suburb of Chicago, Illinois. And we just happen to be the number one office in the entire country for PHP Agency. I just want to show you some trade magazines that kind of validate my, my, my point. This is the most recent copy of this month's Insurance Newsnet magazine. The entire insurance industry reads this, the who's who is in this magazine. This is kind of like our Forbes, Fortune, Fast Company, Inc. magazine of the life insurance and financial services industry. This is it, owned by a gentleman named Paul Feldman. He wrote a book called Ignite, and he's hosting a conference here in Chicago in September called the Insurance Newsnet Super Conference. And our CEO founder of PHB Agency, very happy to say this, is right here as one of the featured speakers, and his title, is the life insurance disruptor because we're disrupting and disturbing the life insurance industry especially from what this man to my left is doing there's a bunch of guys here in the boardroom decided to join me to celebrate this big announcement based on what this gentleman is doing and uh, just a couple guys here just uh, hanging out in the office today doing some work here on a thursday we are disrupting the insurance industry because of one major thing we're recruiting and attracting a new wave of agents into the life insurance industry. You know why? We're not interested in recruiting the typical life insurance agent working at the bank. We're interested in recruiting new raw material to the industry. This year in 2018, one out of four life insurance agents are gone. Let me repeat that one more time. One out of four life insurance agents are gone. Not because the insurance industry is bad, simply because they are just retiring. Why? The typical life insurance agent is a 59-year-old, 60-year-old Caucasian male. They've been doing it for 20, 30, 40 years. Awesome. Kudos to them. But the reason why we're Insurance Newsnet Magazine, the reason why our CEO is known as the insurance industry disruptor, because we have a system of building agents. We have a system of building agencies all across the country, starting in October of 2009 with 60 agents. Today, over 5,500 agents across the country, coast to coast. And the best part about it, multicultural diversity. No matter if you're white, black, brown, green, we don't care if you're 18 or 81, we attract you, we train you, we'll see what you're able to do by helping families and helping clients in the insurance industry. So lots of times people say, Matt, why the insurance industry? Because it's sexy, you didn't know? Did you see our convention? Lamborghinis, Ferraris, private jet, what? Insurance, are you kidding me? That's why we got Kevin Hart coming to our convention in August of 2018, his first company event, coming to our convention. Kevin Hart, his face to our face, his face to your face, doing big things with us on our stage. But anyway, I wanna pan around here to see what type of guys are hanging around with us. What type of insurance agents and ethnic backgrounds do we attract here in PHP Agency. Let's check it out. Nabil Khan, what's going on, baby? Representing Pakistan. <laughs> we got Armanti Landor. Representing Shy Town of Maywood, baby. We got Mexico. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Man, we are having fun here. We're helping families and helping people. Listen, on a serious note, the reason why we're here today is what they're saying about this guy. More importantly, what Christian Ortiz did when he first started with our firm, we call him Hulk, big dude, right? Played D1 football for Indiana University, linebacker. We discovered him selling cell phones at T-Mobile. Said, bro, you feel like you're being uh, uh, applying your competitive nature here? No, no, no. Not at all. Christian, let's dive right into it, man. So give us a little background about how you got started in the insurance industry. So when I got found here, I was actually selling cell phones at at and not T-Mobile. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. at and not T-Mobile. <laughs> so I liked it because I could take my competitive background from football and dive it into sales, but then I got stuck at a dead-end job like most people. So I actually got recruited into the life insurance industry about 18 months ago, and I've been here ever since. After three months of being here, I actually ended up quitting my job. 18 months he's been here as a new life insurance agent, and the reason why we're attracting a lot of guys because in the traditional financial services world, there's not a lot of insurance agents that's gonna allow a guy like him to start on a part-time basis, because that's what you did. You started part-time. Part-time basis. Because he's not sure if he's even gonna like this. He's not even sure he's really gonna make an impact. He's not sure if uh, leaving AT&T is something he really want to do from a career standpoint and from a financial standpoint. And so we allow guys like him to do is start with us, 
on a part-time basis to see if he even likes it, to see if he develops a, develops a passion for it. And so uh, what happened when we initially got you started, brother? Well, basically when I initially got started, I was new just like everybody else, still trying to you know put my toes in the water, see if this was for me. And actually one of the first clients I got was actually my mom. She was one of those clients that always supports me no matter what I do. She got cell phones from me when I was at AT&T. It only made sense that when I came to the life insurance industry, she'd get a small policy just to kind of support me. What so, I did so, so your first client, because that's, that's kind of like the knock yeah. in the side of the insurance. Oh, man, all these guys selling friends and family. Well, well shouldn't you? I mean, if you can't, you can't have a conversation with your friends and family about life insurance, you got to really check not necessarily the validity of the insurance industry, but the validity of your relationship with your family. Yeah, maybe I called you out a little bit for some of you guys watching this video. So basically, uh, eight months after she got the policy, it was a small policy, $50,000. Eight months later, she got diagnosed with cancer. How much was she, she putting towards the policy? She was putting $65 a month away towards the policy. So started off 65 bucks a month, and then she, eight months later? She got diagnosed with breast cancer. Wow. That was in June of 2017. Uh, throughout the whole summer of 2017, she went through uh, chemo, radiation, basically everything she needed to do to get cancer free. Actually, in October, right before our pink party, she became cancer free. So our pink party is something we do here with PHP ladies to raise awareness and to raise money for breast cancer research, which was something that our CEO's wife, Jennifer Beth David, started with PHP agency. And the pink party is here to gather awareness and gather people of, of fighting through cancer, who survived cancer, who, who, who champion cancer, breast cancer, and doing, and doing um, a lot of uh, charitable work as a result. Of it. So right before the pink party, she became cancer free. Wow. And so what did you do in the meantime? So in the meantime, actually, I actually put in a claim for her life insurance for living benefits. Now, most people think that life insurance is only for when you die. But if you think of the name life insurance, it's actually meant for when you're alive. So because of the breast cancer, she was with a company called Forrester's. Now, they actually accelerated her living death benefit. So actually, as of this week, she got a letter in the mail saying that she was actually approved for over $40,000, over $50,000 life insurance policy. So be able to use that while she's alive to pay for medical bills, expenses, you know, house bills, still be able to put food on the table, that's huge. And for me being able to give this to my mom, that just, it validates everything I'm doing here. So sometimes you, uh, insurance agents get a knock, man. Man, you guys are too pushy. It's so uncomfortable you're talking about this. So you're telling me that life insurance that your mother received a benefit from, because sometimes that's why people don't buy life insurance. They don't buy life insurance. They think the only people that's gonna get money from it are the people they leave behind, the money behind to, but not in your situation. So your situation is your mom got the money while she's alive. alive. Why, because you decided to go for your promotion. Listen, let's not beat around the bush. Do we sell? Heck yeah, we sell. What business doesn't sell? Life insurance agents, just like real estate agents, just like loan officers, just like lawyers, just like doctors, just like dentists, they have to sell something. Let me ask you a quick question. With any other way that your mom could put away her money, real estate, could they have given her 40 grand in no. uh, eight months? Not at all. Could uh, uh, a Forex and Bitcoin at this time of, uh, could have given her 40, 40 grand? Definitely not. Sure With 65 bucks a month? What about uh, gold? No, not even gold. Right? So, so no matter what your money, your mother could put into it, there's only one area. She put 65 bucks, so what's 65 bucks a month times eight months? So eight months, so let's list. $500? So she put 500 bucks in, mm. and she got what out? $40,000. $40,000 out. How much tax did she pay on that? Zero. Zero. And this guy, you know, got involved in the insurance industry, got ridiculed sometimes. What are you doing selling insurance? But listen, how would you like to do this for your mom? How would you like to help your family, those you love and care about, in the deepest times of their financial need. Are you proud you got involved in the insurance industry? Yeah, it's a great feeling. Are you proud to say I sell life insurance? Definitely. You know, there's a lot of things you could have been selling, bro. Cell phones, cell phones cell phones. right? Do Does an iPhone case ever give $40,000 to your mom? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's one, one heck of a success. How does your mom feel? She feels ecstatic. I mean, she thought that, you know, she was getting this policy just to support her son. And, you know, come to turn out when she had the worst time in her life, this small thing that she got, ended up actually helping her a lot. She actually told me that she wished she got more coverage because she could have gotten more coverage. She just didn't know if she wanted to put two feet into the water. Here's the thing with Christian. This ain't his first time. I mean, you've been in the industry 18 months. How many claims? I've actually done two. two. Well, including this one, yeah, it's been two living benefits claims. I mean, I've helped two people get their money before they die in the worst times of their lives. And so oftentimes people aren't educated or aware of what life insurance can do. So I'm glad you're out there, man. South side of Chicago, Definitely. Pilsen, right? Back of the yards, everywhere where most typical life insurance agents are going, man. So listen, before we, we uh, sign off, let's give uh, Christian Ortiz yeah, a round of applause, man. Great job. Good job. Woo!
give him a round of applause drop your comments again this is christian ortiz make sure you follow him on facebook you're also on instagram too as well right yeah. follow his journey follow his journey as he continues to grow in his career how he continues to serve families and how he's going to be uh, meeting kevin hart here in august at uh, a convention uh and we're doing some big things in business disrupting the life insurance industry we're looking for some big fingers we're looking for people to chip on the shoulder we're looking for people that want to do big thing in their life and making some, some positive impacts not only personal finances but in the financial literacy and education of other people too, and get handsomely compensated along the way. That being said, I'm your Money Smart Guy here, host of the Money Smart Show, co-owner of PHB Agency, Chairman's Council of PHB Agency, offices across the country, coast to coast, with fine people just like you see right here, that the typical life insurance industry would have never hired. <laughs> but PHB Agency is giving us a shot, a bunch of average and ordinary kids doing some extra ordinary thing. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you share this post. If you're looking for somebody to connect with, drop us a message, drop us a comment, and we'll get in connect, uh, uh, contact with you. If you want to talk about more about your life insurance needs, talk to Christian Ortiz or any of our life insurance, licensed life insurance agents here. If you want to talk about the opportunity of getting started in business as an entrepreneurial agent, starting on a part-time basis, coming to full-time, give me a shout. That being said, till we meet again. Continue to live smart, continue to love smart, smart, and be money smart, smart today. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. Give me some room. What? Give me some Go fund me, not life insurance, man.